Lagos and Kebi State have signed a memorandum of understanding in the production of rice and other food items. Well, the two governors, Mr. Akiumi Ambode of Lagos State and his counterpart, Mr. Atiku Bagudu of Kebi State, said the move became necessary as the country's attention was gradually moving away from oil. Both governors expressed hope that the partnership would provide food, employment and create wealth. Lagos State in the southwest, Kebi State in the northwest, a distance of about 866 kilometers, a journey of about 12 hours, 57 minutes by road. But now that geographical line fades out and the distance contracted by the governors of both states in the interest of their people. So leaders and representatives from both states gather in this hall to sign a memorandum of understanding that will pull resources and strength of both states together in order to provide food, commerce, wealth and employment for their people. The need for labor state to collaborate with every state on these value chains develop, development steers from the strategic role of the state to enhance sustainable food security and creation of employment opportunities for our citizens. Lagos State Governor Mr. Akinwumi Ambode explains what the state is bringing to table. We are gathered here today to formalize an agreement between Lagos State and Kebi State to enter into a partnership for food processing, production and distribution. Both states are embarking on a joint venture to feed our people, establish commercial enterprises, create employment and wealth distribution for the benefit of both states and the nation in general. The future of Lagos State is partly tied to deliberate resolution on food security. Production and self-sufficiency require our immediate attention at policy and strategic levels to sustain ourselves. Lagos State is the largest consumer of food commodities in Nigeria by virtue of our state population. We have the market with the required purchasing power also. Lagos State has an estimated consumption of over 798,000 metric tons of milled rice per year, which is equivalent to 15.96 million or 50 kilogram bags, with a value of 135 billion naira per annum. We have the economic powers to produce rice locally. The era of imported rice is gone forever. The reality is for all of us to embrace the consumption of local food stock and commodities. In addition to rice, Lagos is presently consuming 6,000 herds of cattle daily, which may increase to 8,000 in the next five years. The bulk of the vegetables produced in the country end up in the Lagos markets. Lagos State is one of the largest producers of poultry and thus has a large demand for maize for livestock feed production. The state also houses most of the industrial users of wheat and sorghum, mostly flour mills, bakeries, breweries, and food manufacturers. And his Kebi state counterpart, Mr. Atiku Bagudu, is not coming empty-handed. He talks about what he has to offer in this partnership. About five months ago, all the 21 local governments planted seed and there is no place where we are expecting at least a 300% increase in wheat output by the time the harvest is in. What that means is that together we can do it. Kebi State, after Yobe State, under as, as by records of the National Livestock Census, is the second largest in animal resources and we can invest in grazing reserves, we can invest in abattoirs that can help our people, can help the Fulani people reduce trafficking of live animals to Lagos and can help
provide better, cheaper, more qualitative, well-processed meat in Lagos, where butchers of Lagos or people involved in the value chain can be involved from beginning to end and therefore uh, earn a more value in what we do. We can do the same for soya beans, we can do the same thing for millet, we can do the same thing for corn, we can do the same thing for sugar cane, we can do the same thing for fishes. And what are the factors that gave birth to this project? This collaboration is in line with the clearer call and policy direction given by the President, President Mohamed Buhari, on the need to feed ourselves. Governor Bagudu does not approve less. My brother, the Devil State Governor, Mr. Ikiwumi Ambodi, both he and I recognize the commitment of President Mohamed Buhari and Vice President Yumi Osibajo to restructure Nigeria away from dependence on oil took the message seriously and from day one when we met at the National Executive Council we decided to do to say what can we do for ourselves. So I thank my brother for providing leadership and innovation. This is not an afterthought, it's also not an imposed view, as it has approval from leaders of both states. This proposal met with the approval of the Executive Council and the State House of Assembly. We all thank them. In Kebi State, as you can see, my brother, our party agreed with us. Our leaders, community, traditional religious leaders who are happy with what we are doing, our business community who are happy, who are happy with what we are doing. And the members of the State House of Assembly also approved that we go into this agreement. And of what benefit will this be to the states and the nation? We believe that our two states can significantly contribute to national food sufficiency and food security for our country. We believe that the peoples of our dear states can benefit immensely from this cooperation. We can add value jointly, we can create employment, we can create incomes. Of particular interest to Governor Ambode is the employment it will generate and he states the strategies to make it work. This joint venture will be implemented using a special purpose vehicle called Last Care Agricultural Production and Marketing Company. And the major areas of focus will be the development of commodity value chains with emphasis on rice, wheat, granules, onions, maize, sugar, fisheries, and beef. The numerous thousands of our market women and men can become key employers of labor. As distributors of Ibile rice, we can also brand and package rice in the names of our distributors and market women. As a state, we shall adopt our local rice as a state dish in all ramifications. The special purpose vehicle will allow the entrance of private sector investors and other states in expanding the rice mill at Imotai, Oroju, and other locations. We have already des designated the 100 hectare line at Imotai as the agric park in the state. <clears throat> other locations in and outside the state will be vigorously activated to fulfill our mission in record time. This collaboration is already becoming the envy of other states or are seeking to be part. What we are doing is we are pioneering and we will certainly bring other states in before because we believe the potential of our nation is enormous. But we believe we, we have to have pace setters. And what we are doing today with my brother is no doubt a pace setting journey. And with the support of the State House of Assembly, with the state of our ESCO, and our people, I believe.
we can do it. Then comes the official sealing of the agreement between the two states. The commissioners of agriculture of both states do the signing while the governors have their backs. With that done, the deal is sealed in the development of commodity value chains with emphasis on rice, wheat, granite, onions, maize, sorghum and beef. Lagosians and residents of Kepi State are waiting to begin enjoying the dividends of the partnership.